Yo, welcome back to another Friday. You know what that means. It must be time for another edition of This Week in the XFL. And I'm your host as always, the referee. Represent XFL2K.com, the number one source in XFL news. So we got a lot of things to cover this week. It's actually been a slightly middle middle ground week as far as news. Not slow, but not a lot of news, but we still have a lot of different things to cover here. So right off the bat, we want to talk about a new partnership for the XFL. So American National Combines has been selected to manage all of the XFL summer, summer showcases. Now, it's interesting that we're hearing this new news now as we're halfway through the summer showcases. We only have four more. We've already gone through four of them. One that we attended out in Houston, the number one team in the XFL. Just get ready for that to happen with the run and shoot offense. But hey, sorry to divert. Uh, but it's interesting that we're hearing this news now, but here it is. So American National Combine is led by former NFL executive and founder of the NFL Regional and Super Regional Combines, Stephen Austin, has been hired by the XFL to run those summer showcases. So ANC, American National Combines, is the nation's leading provider of pro football com combines, right? So they work with the NFL, they work with the CFL, and now they're working with the XFL. And you know, during his career, Stephen Austin has tested and evaluated over 65,000 professional football players. So if there's anybody that can do it, if this man, we give him a sign you up. I'm excited for this to happen. It's good to see these partnerships, again, proving that the XFL is doing things the right way. They are doing things legitimate. This is not the XFL of old. This is the new XFL. XFL 2020 is ready to take over the world and they're starting with the small things, even the summer showcase. Like I said, we're halfway through, so we, we still have some announcements, some exciting things to see, which we will talk about later in this video. But before we do, we have to talk about something that was a little bit sad and turned into something that was a little bit happy, right? So. If you don't know who He Hate Me is, Rod Smart, former running back for the Las Vegas Outlaws, it was reported earlier this week that he had been missing for almost a week. For six days, nobody in his family could find him. The police were looking for him, not for any criminal charges, but more for his safety. Uh, so the Lanc Lancaster County Police uh, Sheriff's Department posted on their Facebook alerting all fans, everybody in the public asking for their help. And even his family at the time of the situation said, this is not usual of him. And it, you know, so people were a little bit worried. They were saying he's, he's missing and endangered. And luckily, thank goodness, only a few hours later, he was found. There wasn't more many details around what had happened, but he was safe, he was found. He Hate Me lives on, sign us up, sign him up. I hope if you were going through any troubles, they get over and they get solved soon. And really, I just hope this is just a misunderstanding. The dude might have just been on vacation, right? Uh, but I will remind you, his name was in the news recently. Uh, you can check out the article at xfl2k.com, all of them really. Uh, and it, you know, so it looks like the XFL is actively trying to pursue the trademark for He Hate Me. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if he ends up joining the league. But I diverse again, I'm very happy that Rod Smart is healthy, safe, and back with his family. Uh, so moving on here. So last week we reported that Manziel was interested in joining the XFL specifically for the Houston or Dallas team. Although we know it's not his choice, but that is his preference. So it doesn't sound like it may be a done deal. We're hearing things all over the board on this one, but somebody asked uh, Oliver Luck directly. So USA Today is saying that it remains to be seen if Johnny Manziel will be in the XFL. Basically what I understand that to mean is there's either no deal, he either hasn't reached out, or the XFL doesn't have interest. 
I still expect Manziel to be in this draft come early October this year, but we'll see. Only time will tell. So moving on, like I mentioned, we're halfway through the XFL Summer Showcase. We've been to Dallas, we've been to Houston, we've been to New York, and we've been to DC. So we have a couple left, and this weekend we have Los Angeles, Hollywood, and Seattle. So a couple things that we'll talk about here. So we have some confirmed names of some folks that are going to be attending the XFL Summer Showcase today in Los Angeles. Well, depending on when you're watching the video, but this is when the video is being released. So let's go over the names. Let's see who is guaranteed to be in attendance. And I guarantee I have a story that will make you want to cry by the end of it. So starting off, we have Raheem Moore, a safety, formerly of UCLA, a Broncos pick, and you know, a former AAF player, Arizona hotshot. We actually have three of them on the list today. This is the first. I'm excited to see this guy here. He had some exciting moments. Uh, you can read the article on XFL2K.com, but he did have a, a little bit of a problem in, in, in Denver where the fans and the league, and not the league, but the team kind of turned on him, and that's where he had some downfalls there, but this is what the XFL is for, second chances, and I think the dude's gonna be good. So sign him up, I'm glad to see that guy there. Next we have defensive tackle Will Sutton, uh, ASU guy, Chicago Bears player, and another, like I said, Arizona hotshot. Uh, dude, I would love to see this guy on the team. So we're gonna go to our third Hot Shots player here, and it makes sense, Scooby Wright the third, sign him up, linebacker, played for the Cardinals, and like I mentioned, the Hot Shots. Uh, so I would love to see all three of those AAF guys there, and I would love to see the sport guy there as well. So this one is an interesting story. You know, the XFL didn't make any posts about him, but we had the pleasure to meet him online. He sent a message to us, we got to know him, and I'm telling you, you gotta hear his story. So the last one we're gonna talk about today is Jeremiah Spicer, uh, and he's a linebacker. He, he hasn't really played for any major professional teams, but I'll have a link down in the description. There's gonna be way more details there. But basically, this kid grew up homeless. His, his parents threw him in a literal garbage can, and he grew up homeless, and he learned to use the anger, to use that fear and the struggle to his advantages. He knew that he was athletically gifted and he never gave up, right? So he bounced around between group homes, things like that, eight different high schools. So he never really had an opportunity to get a solid playing uh, career during high school. So there weren't scouts calling him, knocking on his door, anything like that. Uh, but he, through his sheer will, he found his way to a community college team. And through that, he was signed by an arena league. He broke the record in tackles in his rookie season. And even earlier this year, he had a tryout with the Chargers. So there may be some competition for the XFL. But like I said, I would really love to see this guy on any team. But I would especially love to see it in the XFL. I want to see these types of stories in the XFL, people trying to prove themselves. So like I said, we have the opportunity to speak with him. We asked him a couple questions. So we're gonna go through a couple of them, but I really suggest you check out the article in the description. It's a really good read through, a lot more uh, details on how he grew up, what he went through, things of that nature. So we asked him, what advice can you give to others that might be growing up in a similar situation? And he said, never give up, never settle. You know, even though it seems like you're so far away, uh, if you give up, you'll never know if you're close, right? And, and I think that's really poetic. I think that this is exactly the type of player we need to see in the league, the never give up guy. Those types of attitudes create winners. And I have all the respect in the world for Mr. Spicer. And like I said, I want to see him on the team. So the next thing we asked him, we said, hey, if you were given the choice, right, if he had the option, what team would he like to play for in the XFL? 
Uh, and, you know, he basically said, any team that signs me, sign him up. He's a California native, so he would love to, you know, put on a show for any California team. And like he mentions, he, he had also, uh, he's still on the list for the Chargers, so there is that opportunity there. Uh, so, you know, sign him up in that. Uh, so, you know, we're going to go on to, if, give, uh, if five years from now, where, where does he see himself, right? Is he going to be playing football? Or what kind of role does he see himself fitting into life, right? This guy has had an amazing life, so many struggles that he's overcome. What does he foresee the next five years being? And basically, he says he wants to be a motivational speaker. He wants to train kids. He wants to help people that were in the same situation that he was growing up. And that is amazing, right? This dude is so selfless. He's just trying to live out his dream, create something for himself. He didn't have much to start with, but he's making a lot out of it. Like I said, he's from the skid row to the showcase, from the streets to cleats, sign up Jeremiah Spicer. You know, and like I said, these, these are the stories that is gonna make the XFL interesting, entertaining, and just something different that you don't see in your everyday NFL product. So that's about it for this week. Like I said, it was about a middle ground. Not a lot of news, but not a slow news week. But hey, before I let you go, if you didn't know, we're on Facebook and Twitter. Give us a like and a follow at XFL2K.com. No dot, still trying to get that premium domain one day. Come on, answer those messages, dude. And hey, since we're on YouTube, make sure you drop a like. Comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to see when we're dropping new videos. Some are going to be live and some are going to be pre-recorded just like this one. So, hey, until next time, ooh, sign you up.